From Amateur Radio Newsline Report number 2006, these are the Ham Nation headlines for Wednesday, April 13, 2016. In Florida, the scene spelled disaster, the crash of a bus and a train. But it was just a drill, but an important one. We hear details from Amateur Radio Newsline's Paul Brown, WD9GCO. The April 1 mock disaster was organized to challenge area hospital emergency departments as well as first responders. And with area hams on the alert throughout, planners said it proved a useful learning experience. Hendry County's Emergency Management Director Brian Newhouse, KJ4WIC, led staff and reservists through the procedures as 13 people who were made up with simulated injuries awaited attention, triage, and transport. Brenda Barnes, planning consultant and public information officer for the Florida Department of Health in Hendry and Glades counties, proclaimed the drill a successful training exercise and praised it for helping strengthen the working relationships among the hams and emergency professionals. It was also a great way to showcase the need for more active, responsive, licensed hams. Hendry County Emergency Management plans to host a free ham radio training session on Saturday, April 16th, and will also provide free CERT training on June. Spring brings the start of hurricane season, and the Hurricane WatchNet isn't just on the lookout for storms, but for licensed hams, too. Here's Amateur Radio Newsline's Stephen Kinford in 8WB. May isn't that far away, and neither are hurricanes in some parts of the country. According to the Hurricane Watch Net, the eastern Pacific storm season begins May 15th and ends November 30th. Hurricanes also become more of a likelihood in the Atlantic between June 1st and November 30th. But sometimes hurricanes can, and do, occur out of season. So the Hurricane Watch Net is hoping to get a jump on the season by attracting additional net control operators and hopes that radio amateurs will step forward to serve as net control stations and provide other support. According to Bobby Graves, KB5HAV, manager of the Hurricane Watch Net, experienced operators are needed, especially those who are bilingual in Spanish and English. Operators need to be prepared for long hours under stressful conditions. Although net control stations must become members of the Hurricane Watch Net, stations serving as reporting stations or as observers do not need membership. To assist the Hurricane Watch Net, visit the membership information page at www.hwn.org. World Amateur Radio Day is right around the corner. Hams around the world may not be close enough to extend their hands in friendship, so they extend their antennas instead. That's the spirit behind World Amateur Radio Day, a day of even more on-air fellowship than usual. That would be April 18th, which falls on a Monday this year. The date marks the founding in 1925 of the International Amateur Radio Union. The IARU is encouraging groups to promote their activities on that day via social media using the hashtag Ward2016 and to make use of a poster and flyer, both downloadable from their website at IARU.org. And finally, a reminder that the nominating period for the Bill Pasternak Young Ham of the Year Award is now open. More info and the nominating form can be found on the Newsline website under the YHOTY tab. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for over 37 years and counting at www.arnewsline.org. With Paul Brown, WD9GCO, Stephen Kenford, NAWB, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team worldwide, I'm Don Wilbanks, AE5DW. 73, we'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.